A murder trial begins today in Massachusetts for a woman accused of murdering her police officer boyfriend, but it's her defense that attracting national attention. Karen Reed is her name. She has pleaded not guilty to second-degree murder for the 2022 death of John O'Keefe. Her lawyers claim someone else is responsible and that she's being framed as part of a cover-up involving multiple law enforcement agencies. Nikki Batiste is following this trial. For months, supporters of 44-year-old Karen Reed have rallied outside the Detta, Massachusetts courthouse. The public fascination with the case has exploded ahead of Reed's trial, where she faces a second-degree murder charge for the death of her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe. His body was found outside of another Boston police officer's home in Canton, where he was supposed to attend an after-party with other members of local and federal law enforcement agencies. Reed had dropped him off around midnight after a night of heavy drinking at local bars. But prosecutors say O'Keefe never made it inside. They claim the couple had been arguing and that Reed hit him with her SUV before she drove home, leaving him outside in a snowstorm. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. The defense has one really bad fact, and that's the fact that allegedly pieces of the taillight of Karen Reed's car wind up in the clothing of John O'Keefe. Reed's defense team says O'Keefe did go inside the party where he was beaten and then dumped outside. They have not named who they believe killed him. That, that, that was a fanciful story, but again, there's actually no actual evidence. If John O'Keefe was not hit by a car, that means that Karen Reed did not kill him. The defense says that she was framed and that she was framed by police officers from Boston who were at a house where the body is found outside. Reed, who says she woke up at home and panicked when she saw O'Keefe wasn't there, drove around looking for him early the next morning and found his body in the snow. The coroner says his cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head and hypothermia. The case has divided the Boston area and close-knit suburb of Canton. What is it about this case that has made it so captivating? Boston is covering this case at every moment in the newspapers, on the radio, on television. It has mesmerized the public, and the public is taking sides. The U.S. Attorney's Office is now investigating law enforcement's handling of the case, a step that experts describe to us as extraordinary, given that the state homicide case was still being prepared. The trial is expected to last about six weeks. So, so why? Many questions. Yeah. yeah, why would she alleges that uh, he was murdered inside that house? Why would whoever was in that house want to kill him? Essentially, Reed's defense team argues that O'Keefe had bad blood with some other law enforcement officers and some of their family members who were inside the house that night. But a big sticking point in this case is whether a judge would allow the defense to basically point the finger on someone else, which is called a third party culprit defense. Mm. So it's, it's got a lot of twists and turns. It's divided this community. So all eyes will be on this trial, no doubt. Also takes another level when it's the murder of a police officer. Yes, exactly. Or investigating the crime. Yeah. Interesting. Nikki, thank Nikki. you very much.